Hello guys, in this video tutorial, I will be telling you how to use past software for principal component analysis. You can install this software from the link in the description of video. This software is freely available for download. So I have a data of some samples that I have collected and analyzed. So these are the sample ID. These belong to different area. And these are some physical chemical parameters that I have analyzed. So uh, I will be copying this data and paste this to path software by clicking on row and column attribute such that you will get sample label in this and parameter levels are in this so paste it like this then select these data whole data go to multivariate click on ordination and select and select principal component So you are getting eigenvalue and percent variation. These principal component 1 and 2 has the highest percentage of variance. So in matrix you are selecting variance and covariance. Uh, when you select the bootstrap to 200 or more than 100, then recompute it and you are getting percentage 97.5 eigenvalues. So 1 and 2 are the highest values. So you will be getting scatter plot based on principal component 1 and principal component 2. You can also, these are the scores of the samples. So you can also select by plot so that you can analyze how these physical chemical parameters are correlating to each other and why so that you can get more information about this plot. So like in this quadrant, uh, you are having Q1 and Q2 samples and conductivity. So these samples have uh, more value of conductivity. That's why they are lying in this quadrant similarly like you can see r1 r2 and q2 also uh, lying in the this region because they are having more values for tds bod or ph that's why they are lying in this region and if you see the correlation between these parameters so the conductivity has no correlation with bod and tds because the angle between these these uh, parameters are more than 90 degree uh, and if you are uh, seeing this uh, conductivity parameter correlation with COD it is showing the negative correlation and if you see the correlation between pH, BOD and TDS they are positively correlated because the angle between these all vectors are less more than, uh, lesser than 90 degree that's why they are positively correlated and the conductivity have no correlation with BOD, pH and TDS. So these samples are lying in this quadrant because of these major factors. So also you can get a score in this form. Like uh, you can see P1 sample has principal component 1 score of minus 13 and PC2 minus 1. That's why P1 is lying in this region. Also you can see the P2 has minus PC1 minus 47 and PC2 positive. So P2 is lying in that's why this region because it is a negative. P, uh, PC2 and positive component 1. So you can also get loading plot with the loading scores and the scree plot. So in this scatter plot you are getting information how these physical chemical parameters are correlating to each other and how these samples and why these samples are lying in the quadrant. I hope this video helped you to understand why to need to use the principal components analysis and uh, how we can analyze the data by using scatterplot.